Nikki D, Leland, a little breezy out there. I'm seeing some of those cameras kind of going side to side. Oh yeah, we've got winds gusting already in the 20s as well as the 30s, so be mindful in some of the high profile vehicles or even go into the grocery, you know, mm -hmm. whip into your car and like really cause you to accidentally possibly hit the car next to you. Uh, yeah, and those winds will be breezy and gusty mm -hmm. today, tonight and for tomorrow election day as well. And that's keeping the heat up not only to start off our day but potential near record breaking temperatures this afternoon yeah but right now in nashville we've got quiet condition it is a, a bit on the breezy side for us here at the current time over the mid-state for us this morning and yeah, all good as we've got the morning cloud cover now let's call it a mostly cloudy sky there are breaks in those clouds so a mostly cloudy start to the day clouds decrease for you later but mild and breezy this afternoon again record warmth the possibility today and again for tomorrow on election day we will start the day dry there is a cold front that's on the way question is in our western areas the speed of that front will it speed up enough that there might be some showers before the polls close let's say in the northwestern counties uh, up around land between the lakes meanwhile for wednesday scattered showers mainly showers but it will not rule out a rumble of thunder as a cold front moves across the area right now from cookville tennessee tech you've got a current temperature away of 62. so there is our morning weather map and got a system out to our west and boy they had a rough one uh, out in oklahoma over the weekend so this front is on the way our way but with that front there is still a severe weather threat in the nation's midsection it does look like that as that front moves our way it will weaken so showers and maybe a thunderstorm here or there as we head toward tomorrow night and wednesday but there are the wind speeds this is what the winds are doing right now uh, for us out there so overall winds 10 to 15 miles per hour but they're gusting right now already up to 32 miles per hour at camden uh 15 to 20 as you head to Dyersburg and back over to Murray. So winds today gusting between about 25 and 30 miles per hour. So a warm and breezy afternoon for us later today as we go through this Monday, Nikki D. Hands down, Leland. It's going to resemble a lot of yesterday's look as well as feel. Feeling that wind, feeling the heat, and also having a few clouds out there as well. But beautiful day, very summer-like temperatures. We'll be headed back in our direction. The record 81 set back in 1987. There's a good chance we're going to tie it, if not slightly surpass it, in some areas. Today we look to go through the day without any showers moving in our area, but you'll notice those winds continue to filter in even overnight tonight and into tomorrow. So can't roll out tomorrow morning one or two tiny spotty showers areas east of I-65, but it truly is all about the timing of tomorrow's front. One thing's for certain, it's still going to be breezy and it's going to be even warmer than today. Compression ahead of that system will allow temperatures to spike back into the lower side of those 80s, but truly all about when does the rain move in? Right now, models are really indicating that's going to be closer to around 4, 5, 6 o'clock to our north and off to the west. So there is a chance for some of y'all over in parts of Carroll, Henry, Christian, Todd counties where you could have a few sprinkles while the polls are still open or maybe you're still in line. As this continues to move its way off to our north and east, you'll notice we really are staying dry down to our south and eastern locations. But it's really going to hug areas I-40 northward as we make our way overnight and into tomorrow morning, excuse me, Wednesday. Wednesday morning with those scattered rain showers continuing to linger in parts of our Wednesday. As you can tell, this is not a washout type situation, but this is the best chance that we do have within some of these cells. We'll have some really nice hefty downpours. So it's the timing of this not going to be an issue tomorrow morning. It's going to be tomorrow after dinner to the north and west. And then as it continues to move its way eastward, we'll see that moving on into the overnight time frame. Your seven day forecast highs today 81 and it is breezy and warm because those winds will continue to be with us even after sunsets, which is quite early these days. We're still looking to be on the mild side. 76 degrees at 4 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 68. That's still above where we should be ending up. And that's as we're getting into the overnight time frame. 83 tomorrow. We are going to have those rain chances tomorrow evening going on and off throughout parts of our Wednesday. A few lingering showers. And then Leland will finally have a few dry days in play. Uh, yeah, so as we head toward late week, we will uh, see that rain chance go down going into Thursday. 78 for you on Friday. Then we'll keep an eye on the weekend 
and 73 Saturday, 72 on Sunday. As we are watching that system here for us, we'll keep an eye too on the Gulf. Could there be a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico by midweek? I mean, truly, our waters are still really warm, so that will be something to watch for sure.